مش كنت تقول لي ام اراكوز هاتس راديو ستيشن احمد هرزاني از ان ذا هات سيت After sitting on the committee that helped draft the new constitution, he's now explaining it, fielding questions from callers and on Twitter. Hit radio founder Yunus Boumedi is helping young Moroccans find their voice and urging them to use their vote. It's very important for the country and for the young you know, to get involved in politics and to get involved in debates about their future. In a rare address to the nation, King Mohammed VI promised to surrender some powers to parliament and the prime minister. The idea is to establish democratic institution. But the king will retain key powers, remaining head of the army and the country's highest religious authority. I've been hearing that Morocco is in, is in a quote-unquote democratic transition since I was born. This transition is apparently endless. I think we should stop being satisfied about tiny steps. On the streets of Casablanca, the mantra is Mam Funkesh, we will never give up. Inspired by the Arab Spring, thousands of young activists have taken to the streets and organized on Facebook, calling for greater reform. The February 20th movement wants jobs and an end to corruption they say comes from royal cronies. We see that nothing changed in the constitution, it's still the same, and we don't accept that. We're walking through the market in the Sabata area of Casablanca with jihad or foreignji. He warns the Islamic extremists are moving into poor neighborhoods like Sabata, trying to hijack the reform movement. It's a dangerous situation. We should save those people. We should provide for them accommodations, uh, jobs, uh, healthy service, and all the things to make them live in happy. An attack that ripped through a Marrakesh cafe in April, the work of Al-Qaeda's local affiliate, a chilling reminder of what's at stake which is why Mustafa Kalfi's Justice and Development Party, Morocco's largest mainstream Islamic party, is supporting the new constitution. While it's not perfect, he says, it's important to give the king confidence to continue with reform. This constitution presented a lot of cha good changes, but we still have a lot of work to make it more democratic. But this draft has reflected the willingness of monarchy to reform our political system. One of the parliament's youngest members agrees. In the ornate parliament chamber, Mubarak Abudeda tells me the constitution does have potential, but it'll fall upon Moroccans to give it life. And I think there is a huge responsibility uh, that we need to assume very, very soon. There is also the accountability aspect. Uh, that uh, we have also to assume uh, from now on. Uh, and I think there is the challenge. There is the challenge for the new Morocco. All eyes are fixed now on July 1st, when Moroccans will go to the polls and vote on this landmark decision. Few doubt whether it'll be adopted. The burning question now is whether the new constitution can satisfy the demands of change and at the same time maintain the popularity of the king. Elise Labitt, CNN, Casablanca.